Hey guys, I am going to play the role of someone in our the quality assurance department of a corrugated box company, right? And we are going to set up color standards for this new product, new product to our organization, all right? So we've gone through a technical product review with our team. We know how we're going to make this box. And all that's left now is to create the color standards so that our, our press operators have something to measure against when they run this job. And our customer will be happy that the colors match what they want them to match. All right. So here we go. I have my uh, Chrome LT set up here and it's an empty slate ready to go with nothing now this custom product here is Beneful Chop Blends six pack Purina Purina is owned by Nestle's so we're gonna set up the customer at this level is the customer Nestle Nestle has this product and they have other products I'm sure for example we have a 12 pack right but we're going to focus now on the six pack. So later on will be the 12 pack. So we're going to set up the new product and this will be Beneful Chopped Blends six pack. Now we would probably have some kind of a number, alphanumeric number there instead of this name, but this name will allow you to see the structure better. Okay. So Beneful Chop Blends six pack has colors, and uh, these colors are communicated communicated to us on this particular product in five ways. Number one, we have process four color process images here. Okay. So we have our own four color process workflow that we'll, we will apply to these images. That takes care of one. We have an, uh, a note here that we will take this PTA, that this is PTF orange. The L value is 63, A value is 36, and B value is 68, L star, A star, B star values, right? So we have LAB values for the orange. This blue we're calling PTF blue, and we have CXF file for it, a CXF file for it. So that's another way to communicate color. And then here we have a little red patch and it says match this and call it PTFR or PTF red. So we have a color that we're going to measure with our dense, spectral dense to uh, enter into the software. And finally here we're given the uh, reference to a Pantone number which is Pantone 369 green. So five ways that color is communicated to us in this thing, scenario. Four color process, we'll apply our workflow. We're given LAB values, we're given a file, we're given a sample to measure, and we're given a Pantone number, right? All right, so we've got our information. Now let's build the standard for that. Let's start with the orange here. The orange, we have L633668. So we'll add that. 63, 36, 68. That's the value of PTF orange, right? Given to us by the customer. Next thing we'll do is the file we were given, PTF blue. Well, we have a place for our CXF files and we'll import it. There's that blue. Import that. There it is. Save that. Okay. The next thing is we have a swatch here to measure into the system. So we will create a slot for it over here in the software. And now we will scan it with our spectral dance. And there it is, the results. We have spectral data for that. And this we will call PTF red, right? <clears throat> then uh, 
we were given a Pantone color of 369 green. So for that, we'll go to our trusted source. Our coded guide, 369. Values are 62, negative 39, and 60. So we'll create a new color. LA value, LAB values, 62, negative 39, and 60. There is three, pan, PMS, or Pantone, 369 green, right? So we have the four spot colors that were provided to us, <clears throat> or the information. <clears throat> Finally, our four color process colors, we're going to bring in our GMI standards and we'll uh, let's, let's, let's select all and then from that into Beneful we'll bring this one that's our cyan for I left it set opaque sorry about that here's magenta solid here's the yellow solid and here's the black solid right we won't worry about all the other colors and those are the eight colors there that we're going to measure for this particular job okay so now for the benefit, we have uh, those colors. We can just hide our GMI. We can even just remove our GMI now. So we have, uh, these are the color standards for this product. So when somebody asks you, what's the right color for this job? These are them, right? Once we've gotten to that point, now I've got to create a job. So. Uh, an order came through the system and we have got a new work order and we're going to create a color job that the operator will measure against, right? So here we go with a new job and we're going to call that one, two, let's call it job one, two, three, four, five. So that we know that it's a job as we're looking at it. We have our measurement conditions and I'm confirming that those are consistent with our standards, yes. Our product is the Nestle Beneful Chop Blend 6-Pack product, and the colors are the ones that we just created. Our um, standards for solids, uh, the t tolerance for our solids is indeed 2.8, but our process colors are 3.5, so I'll modify those. So now I not only have the colors, but I have the tolerances for each one of them associated specifically to this new job that I'm creating, which is job number one, two, three, four, five, right? Now, as the person in quality assurance or whomever is the, the right person who set this job is up, my job is done. 